The LA school system is a topic that's important not only for parents but also for anyone that's considering moving to the LA area. As a realtor in this vibrant city, I'm often asked about the schools here and it's no surprise. Education is a top priority for families and it can greatly influence where you choose to live and your property values. This channel is all about living in Los Angeles, where I cover communities all over the city. My name is Ange Cody Catalano, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing an insider's perspective on the LA school system, focusing on where I live in the San Fernando Valley. And that's because I've recently been going through this whole process because my son, being four, about to turn five, is about to start school in the next year. So going through that process myself, I thought it might be really helpful to talk a little bit about my experience. So whether you're a parent that's on the hunt for the best school or a potential home buyer that wants to understand the local educational landscape, I hope you stick around and find this video really useful. So. As I mentioned, for the purposes of this video, I'm focusing on schools in and around the San Fernando Valley of Los Angeles, where you have a range of private schools offering various educational philosophies and programs and great public schools. Many people that move to the valley do so for the great schools here. In fact, it's the reason that I moved to the valley. Nonetheless, there is an abundance of private schools alongside the great public schools. Choosing between public and private school is a really significant decision that depends on various factors, including your family values, your child's needs, your financial situation. So how should you make an informed decision? Firstly, I would assess your family's values and priorities you have to consider your educational values alongside your beliefs and priorities. What do you value most in your child's education? Is it the academics? Is religion most important? Moral values, small class sizes, or specific extracurricular opportunities? Then I think you need to evaluate your child's needs. What are their strengths and weaknesses? Does your child have any learning disabilities? Do they have special interests or talents that might require specific educational support or enrichment? Then you need to research your school options. Gather information about both public and private schools in your area. Public schools are typically funded by taxpayers and have a diverse student population, whilst private schools vary widely in terms of size, curriculum and philosophies. I also think you need to visit the schools, look at the schools you're interested in, attend open houses, tour the campuses, meet the teachers, administrators, talk to some of the children there and really get a feel for the school's culture and environment. The school that I'm leaning towards, I loved talking to some of the 6th, 7th graders there. I thought, wow, they're such nice kids and honestly, they're the ones that sold me and made me most interested in that school. Consider the academic offerings by evaluating the programs that are offered by each school. Do they align with your child's educational goals and interests? Also consider factors like the curriculum, the class sizes, and whether they have advanced AP classes. Review also extracurricular activities that are available at each school, which can include sports, art, clubs, communities, and determine if they match your child's interests and passions. Also, you have to explore the school's culture and values. Look at what the overall atmosphere is of the school and whether it aligns to your family's values and beliefs. I think it's really important to consider aspects like discipline, diversity and character education. If your child has unique needs or interests, you also need to investigate whether the school offers special programs such as special education, language immersion or STEM programs. Of course, the cost of private schools, including tuition, fees and additional expenses, really need to be evaluated to determine if your family can comfortably afford private education 
and there are of course financial aid options at many of the private schools. I also think it's important to connect with current parents and students at the schools that you're considering. They can provide valuable insights into the day-to-day -day experiences and challenges of attending these schools. Factor in the distance and transport logistics when you're choosing a school. Longer commutes can really impact your child's daily schedule and family life and consider your long-term plan for your child's education. Do you anticipate switching schools at a later stage? Some families choose a public elementary school with the intention of switching to a private school later and vice versa. I'd also involve your child in the decision-making process, especially if they're at an age where their preferences and needs should be considered. Their input can be so valuable in selecting the right school. Make a list of each of the pros and cons of all the schools that you're interested in, as this can really help you weigh up the advantages and disadvantages, especially when you're looking at public versus private school. If you're still uncertain about your choice, consider consulting with an educational consultant or a teacher at their existing school who can help make recommendations. Ultimately, the decision between public and private school should really align with your family's values alongside your child's unique needs. There really isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, and what works best for one family might not be the right choice for another. So taking the time to research, visit, and carefully consider your options, I think will really help you in making the best decision for your child's growth and development. Now, as I've talked about in previous videos, I'm based here in the San Fernando Valley. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna take a closer look at Sherman Oaks, Studio City and Encino, which are neighborhoods here in the San Fernando Valley and which are known for the diverse communities and excellent public schools. So I'm gonna start with an overview of the public schools in these areas. Sherman Oaks is served by the Los Angeles Unified School District. The elementary schools are really highly regarded here. Some of the most notable are Kester Elementary, which is known for its strong academics and active parent involvement. Riverside Drive Charter Elementary, which offers a diverse and enriching educational environment. Sherman Oaks Elementary is a beloved institution that's been serving the community for generations and it's known for its nurturing environment and dedicated staff and it focuses on well-rounded education including arts and extracurricular activities. Looking at middle schools, the Louis Armstrong Middle School is known for its diverse student body and academic programs. High schools wise, Sherman Oaks is zoned for Van Nuys High School, which offers a wide range of academic and extracurricular opportunities. Then you also have the Sherman Oaks Centre for Enriched Studies, which is a magnet school with specialised programmes in various subjects. Studio City is also served by LAUSD. Studio City also has notable elementary schools, including the Carpenter Community Charter School, which is known for academic excellence as well as a really strong community. Carpenter really prides itself on its community and parent involvement, but it also offers a really challenging curriculum alongside emphasis on character development, which is why it's a top choice for many families in Studio City. The Rio Vista Elementary School offers a balanced education with a focus on academics. In Laurel Canyon, which is also part of Studio City and the Hollywood Hills, you also have the Wonderland Elementary School. It's well known for its architecture and the setting amongst the Hollywood Hills. It has a really strong sense of community and it's a very highly regarded school. Then towards the Valley Village end of Studio City, you have a Colfax Charter Elementary. A charter school is basically a school that has more autonomy over its curriculum and operations. And Colfax highly regarded for both its academics and a strong sense of community. Middle schools in Studio City, you have the Walter Reed Middle School, which is known for its diverse student body and academic programs. The high school that Studio City is zoned for is North Hollywood High School, which offers a range of academics and extracurricular activities. You also have Birmingham Community Charter School. I don't know if that's how you say Birmingham in America, so excuse me if I'm pronouncing it wrong for Americans. In England you pronounce it Birmingham. Maybe here you say Birmingham. I don't know. Anyway, it's known for its magnet programs in 
various fields. Moving on to Encino, which like Studio City and Sherman Oaks is part of LAUSD. Elementary schools in Encino are also very highly rated. The first that we're going to look at is the Lanai Road Elementary, which is recognised for its dedicated staff and very strong parent involvement. Then you have the Hesby Oaks Leadership Charter School, which has a strong focus on leadership and character development and a rigorous academic program. For middle schools, you have the Portola Middle School, which offers various academic and extracurricular programs. For high schools, Encino is the zone for, I think it's worth noting that attendance, boundaries, and school options can change. And some families may choose to apply for open enrollment or attend schools outside of their immediate neighborhoods. To make an informed decision about public schools in these areas, it's essential to research specific schools. I would visit campuses and speak to school administrators, teachers, current parents, current students, and try and understand each school's unique offerings and culture. Additionally, the LAUSD website provides up-to-date info on school assignments and enrollment procedures for all these three neighborhoods. So now we've covered some of the top public schools in the area, I want to take a look at private schools, which are often a lot more expensive, but people still choose to go to them because they feature smaller class sizes, personalised attention and a wide range of extracurricular activities. So I'm going to go through some of the top ones in the San Fernando Valley. Obviously I don't want this video to be hours and hours long so I'm just going to briefly tell you some of the top ones and a little outline on their focus. Obviously if you want to do more detailed research into these schools afterwards with an educational consultant or on the school website, you should. And of course, I really recommend you doing a tour. So let's start with one of the top celebrity schools, the Sierra Canyon School, which is situated in Chatsworth. Sierra Canyon is a really well-regarded independent school. It serves students from preschool through to 12th grade. The school emphasizes a challenging academic curriculum, arts, athletics, as well as character education. The Wesley School, which is located in North Hollywood. The Wesley is a non-denominational private school. It has a really beautiful chapel there but I recently attended a tour there and what I really liked is they really do celebrate all different faiths and beliefs and it serves students from kindergarten through to eighth grade. It really emphasises a well-rounded education as well as having a focus on character development and academics. You also have the Lycée International de Los Angeles Leela offers a bilingual educational experience to English and French and it's in Van Nuys. It provides students with a global perspective and a strong emphasis on language acquisition and cultural understanding. I have a couple of friends who are French, uh, they're living here from Paris and they have sent their children to the Lycée because they really wanted their children to have not only a French experience but also to understand where they came from and how their life was in Paris and to remain connected. Now another French name is the Notre Dame High School. This may be another name that I'm pronouncing differently. In French you call it Notre Dame, my husband calls it Notre Dame, but Notre Dame High School is located in Sherman Oaks itself. It's a well-known Catholic high school. It's known for being a little bit more reasonably priced than some of the other high schools. And it also offers a college prep curriculum. It emphasizes academics, of course, but also character development and community are really important. One of the most renowned schools in the San Fernando Valley is the Harvard Westlake School. It's a prestigious independent school that serves students from 7th grade through to 12th and it has a very strong college prep focus. It's known as being one of the feeder schools for Harvard. Therefore, the school is known for its rigorous academics, 
exceptional faculty and extensive extracurricular opportunities. The Buckley, which is in Sherman Oaks, is another of the Valley's prestigious schools. It offers a holistic and student-centered education from kindergarten through to grade one. And beyond that, it focuses on character development as well as very strong academics and creative thinking. In Bel Air, you have the Millican Community School, which provides a Jewish day school education with a strong academic curriculum and a commitment to community involvement and Jewish values. Situated in the Encino Hills, you have the Curtis School, which I toured last week. It's also another school that's on beautiful grounds. Curtis serves its students from kindergarten through to grade six, and it offers a very nurturing environment. They have a very strong focus on academics, of course, but also arts and character development. And I think it's worth noting because of its location in the Encino Hills, you see a lot of students also coming in from the Brentwood area to Curtis. In Bel Air, you have the Wise School, which is a Jewish day school, and it provides academically rigorous values. And that school is from preschool through to grade six. You have Campbell Hall. It offers a K through to 12 education. So if it's important for you, for your child to stay in the same place, this is a really strong contender. They focus on academic achievement, a sense of community, and they have an excellent arts and athletics program. Now, whilst Brentwood isn't technically in the San Fernando Valley, I wanted to talk about the Brentwood School because it's close enough by, especially to those that live in the hills, this school is K through 12 and it emphasizes academic rigor, creativity, and a commitment to social responsibility. Going back to Studio City, we have the Berkeley Hall School, which offers a holistic education. Its focus is on character development, of course, also academics, and that school is for students from preschool through to grade eight. Around the corner here from my office, we have the St. Francis de Sales School. This is a Catholic school in Sherman Oaks, and it provides education from preschool through to eighth grade. Their emphasis beyond academics is in moral development. Now, in Valley Glen, one of the top well-established co-educational day schools is the Lawrence School. The Lawrence follows a whole child approach to education which aims to nurture not only students' intellectual growth, but also their social, emotional, and physical development. They're really focused on ensuring that students really do receive a well-rounded education. Now, I want to move a little bit beyond the San Fernando Valley and look at Woodland Hills. Louisville High School is an all-girls Catholic high school that focuses on empowering young women through education and personal growth. A little bit further than Woodland Hills, you have Calabasas. One of the most noteworthy schools in Calabasas is the Viewpoint School, which provides a well-rounded education with a focus on innovation, community service, and global awareness. Heading back to North Hollywood, we have the Oakwood School, which emphasizes progressive education, which fosters creativity as well as critical thinking in its students. In Burbank, you have another Catholic high school, which is the Providence High School. This is another college prep school that promotes faith-based values and academic achievement. If you're looking for a Jewish day school, in North Hollywood, you have the East Valley Torah Center, which combines a strong academic curriculum with Jewish studies and values. Not to be confused with the Sherman Oaks St. Francis, in Burbank you have St. Francis Xavier, which is a Catholic elementary school that provides a faith-based education to younger students. In Encino, you have the Los Encinos School, which is an independent K-6 through school which promotes a nurturing and challenging environment, and it has a really strong emphasis on community involvement as well as academic achievement. So I hope you found this brief overview on all these public and private schools in the San Fernando Valley useful. It's by no means a full or 
comprehensive review on any of these schools, but I did want to mention some of the more noteworthy schools for those of you who, like me last year, just don't know where to start. If you want to reach out and ask further questions, please don't be shy. And if you need a referral to an educational consultant, I've got a great one of those too. Thanks so much for watching.